I remember when I first moved here, I didn't have money to buy myself any groceries. So all I was eating was cup of noodles. Hi, Tiger Lilies. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay in the building. Before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. No, this channel is not only about subscribing, but let's keep it a buck. This is why we have our YouTube channel, so that we can touch more of you guys. And in order to do that, we need you to subscribe. Um, you know how we get this started. Today's daily affirmation is be you. Repeat after me. Be you. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So, um, I decided to come, this is very impromptu, you guys never really see me record in my room, um, I just finished working out, and I just, I wanted to sit down and just have a candid talk with you guys, um, I, like, you guys like videos like this where, I, I sit down and just keep it a thou wow with you. This is my thou wow thoughts, um, right? So when I moved to Dallas, I had one thing in mind, and that was, you know what's crazy? Is I see the water, because it's raining outside, I see the water and then I felt a drip on my hand. There's no drip on, there's no water on my hand, but I instinctively felt that. Anyways, um, so, I came to Dallas with thought in my head to the number one thing was to start over, to not uh, revisit the same path and the same decisions that led me to who I am right now. And the key is to still like embrace who you are and stop looking at other people and em trying to emulate their life. You are you, right? And you guys know I tell you this all the time, but. Um, I just came here and I just was like, yo, I'm going to start over. I'm not going to pine over no dude. I'm going to focus on my business. I'm not going to be too worried and caught up about making friends and all this jazz, right? And everything is copacetic. Like, I'm working. I have my own place. Um, I'm, me I'm meeting people who are not taking away from my life, but adding on to it um so it's just a different feeling um but then i get i started to feel myself drifting into the pleasing of others and feeling some sort of um satisfaction from other people and i started sitting here wondering like why don't i hear from this person and me and this person was cool when I first got here and now I don't hear from them anymore and I started like um feel I felt like I was revisiting that past again so I remember reading this uh Instagram post where they was talking about they read this book or uh, audible I don't remember what it was but they said something about in the morning write 10 of your dreams and at and before before you go to sleep write 10 of things that you're grateful of and I started to do that and I started once I started doing that and waking up every morning and saying thank you for waking me up thank you for this roof over my head because like that it could be gone thank you for giving me food in my refrigerator because I remember when I first moved here I didn't have money to buy myself any groceries so all I was eating was cup of noodles all day that's why a lot of y'all was like, oh, Shay, you losing weight because literally that's all I was eating. But that's fine. We all got to go through struggle, right? And then um, when, when you feel everything start working in its place and you feel everything start doing what it has to do, something happens. And that's always been like the story of my life. I felt like every time that things were coming into its own and doing what i was working hard for it to do something would happen so a month ago i was at work and um my boss sat me down and she was talking about how um how 
I am with guests and guest complaints and that it bloop bloop la 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 right so you know at your job you want to keep your job so you're taking in what if you're mature enough to understand that everybody has differences and it's up to you to learn to maneuver in that path of life you feel me so I just was like you know what yes I hear what you're saying I respect what you're saying I take in what you're saying and I'm gonna work on it this was a month ago um, Tuesday Monday 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 I sat down and I spoke with my boss and I was just like having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and just like listen I just feel like there's some tension between us and I don't understand what it is you feel me I come to work and I do my job and I try to get along with everybody here and I took in what y'all was telling me about guests and understanding that my direct approach might come off rude to them so I have to smoothen it out a little bit and baby uh, caress it a little bit when I come to the guests so I took in what y'all was saying she said yes I saw a complete 360 you you did a, you I have no complaints from guests or anything like that and da 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 so I was like awesome please if any other thing comes up let me know because I really want to work and do what I gotta do the next day I'm at work and everything is copacetic and we chilling everybody's laughing um, the GM is telling me what an awesome job I'm doing is I'm supposed to leave at 3 30 3 10 I was told the HR manager wanted to see me in the back so I go to the back and I'm like oh it's probably because my benefits because I had sent her an email saying that my benefits was canceled will I be getting that money back that I've been paying so I go to the back and I see er my um, my manager sitting in the back with her and the 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 HR manager was like Shay remember last time we spoke to you we stated that um, if this stuff happens again we're gonna have to let you go I'm sorry about this but we're gonna have to let you go and in my head I'm just like one I just spoke to you the day before and you said there was nothing and this lady is listing dates prior right but you told me there was nothing this morning all of y'all was like boasting me up and saying that I should help train the newbies and da 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 y'all can't show me this evidence of all these guests complaining because I have access to the guest complaints and I've never once seen my name I see other people's names but I never once see my name and all I could do is a sense of relief came over me and all I could do is say thank you I appreciate the opportunity is there anything else you need from me they was talking about the uniform and I said I got you when I come pick up my check I will give you the uniform and I walked out and I say all of this to say is that when it's time to let something go you have to let it go a lot of times we sit there and hold on to things because we feel like uh, what are we gonna do without it but if you really believe in a higher power and you really believe in a universe and you believe in yourself you know that everything is gonna be okay I could have spazzed out right then and there and I could have said but you did it and you ain't like what what would that do it really wouldn't do anything but make me look crazy and make them further feel like what they did was correct you know what I'm saying so I tell you guys life happens don't let it stop your plans don't let it stop you from doing what you gotta do I'll be fine I'm not saying this to throw like a pity party or anything because in all honesty, I was telling my friend and he like, he was like, let's go. Yes, I can't. I was waiting for you to get fired or for you to quit because this is not what you're supposed to be doing, Shay. Real talk. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. You are not supposed to be working for somebody else. You have a greater mission in life. And you steady working for other people is breaking into that. But in my head, I'm like, I have bills to pay, though. <laughs> a lot of times, a lot of these people out here is like, if you want to be a business owner, you got to do that, 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 that. Yes, believe in yourself. Take that leap. But at the end of the day, please understand that you still got bills you got to pay for. If your passion is not helping pay for your bills as of yet, do not sit there and quit your job or don't look for another job. That's dumb. Akuna Matata. Like, I don't like people out here telling folks, like, yo, go after your dreams. Don't look back. Um, what? Don't look back, but uh, 
that spectrum bill still got to get paid that roof that you live under still has to be paid for don't stress about that part but understand that you still got to pay for it like let's keep it a thou wow let's not do that so The mission is to work and hustle hard for 30 days, doing me and creating and being me, see what that comes out of it. If after 30 days, I'm still in a place that I am right now, as I speak with you, I will go back into the job market and find myself another job. I do have money to pay for my next month's rent and a few of my bills, so I'm not stressed about that part. Um, but yeah. Yeah, guys. This is what it is. Life happens. And I wanted to be sit here and be candid with y'all. Like, yo, life happens. Setbacks do not mean that you're a failure. They're just setbacks. Now it's time for you to turn it up a notch. Vroom, vroom. You feel what I'm saying? Like, don't let people or things that happen in your life stop you or let you second guess your potential or what you're supposed to do in or like invade your happiness remember i told y'all before fill your cup let things come into your life that's adding not taking away because it makes no sense you have one life people get fired all the time for nothing people get fired because they needed to get fired you learn from it and you move on <laughs> to be honest i've been fired so much times and i don't think that's a good thing to say but maybe that like i i'm here to be honest with y'all like i've got fired so many times what am i gonna do if i know truly that i'm doing my job what am i gonna do there's one job that me getting fired was for a legitimate reason because I was half assing I wasn't doing it like I didn't care so the boss could see it and that like I deserve to get fired but there's other jobs that I've got fired before after and I was just like one they moving on to a, like a computer base so they didn't need people the other one they actually closed down the other one was dumb sh dumb stuff like you know what i mean what am i like i used to like break down and be like what am i gonna do about money i'm gonna lose my apartment i'm gonna i i don't have no money i'm gonna disappoint my mom again once those start thoughts start coming into your head and your mental space you done messed up because now you're going down that cycle of depression. And what is that going to do for you? Nothing. But I just wanted to talk, come here and talk to y'all and be candid with y'all. And let y'all know that I love and support y'all. If y'all ever want somebody to talk to, hit me up. Because I talk to y'all all the time. If you're going through something right now, put in the comment box below. Let's talk about it. Um. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please go to my page, www.essenceofshade.com. Go read my blog. Go purchase some products. Go follow me on Instagram. Just keep showing the love and support. And I love y'all. All right? All right. See you later. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb.